Hey guys and gals, got another one for you today. Today I'm in my shit barn, otherwise known as the FV4005, platooned up with Drewski, and he is in his Wizard 111 5A. Pretty much tier 10 match, there's some 9s, um, but most of them are, most teams are made up of tier 10. We are in Fjord Standard Battle, and one of the things the faster tank should do, and you don't want too many teammates to do it, but get into E5, um, you can catch them crossing the 5 line down to the South Peninsula. Um, but you definitely don't want to invest all your tanks into the middle, because then if you lose the South and the North, the game's over. Um, you definitely want to try to either push the North, or even just hold the North back, win the South and the middle, and then it, you can win um, from the North, or I guess the West. That's usually the easiest way to go. So I was spotted here. Um, I knew that there was a scout over there, so I was trying to make sure my gun was aimed over in that direction. And there's, I, he started backing up as soon as he shot. I wasn't going to take a shot on the move while he was still on the move. If he sat there and tried to clip me, I would have tried to uh, get a snapshot off on him, but he didn't want to chance it. One thing about this spot, Artie usually can see it, so just be careful. But their T92 just killed our Yagru, so I'm not too worried about it. I can see right over this Centurion's head. The 140 poked out. I just didn't feel comfortable with the shot. And all of a sudden this E75 comes running out. Smoke him for 1700 damage. You usually don't make money in this tank. Um, unless maybe you load HEs and some AP rounds. Um, but I just run standard Hesh because I want to make, <coughs> make damage in this thing. That's the way to do it. Same with the Death Star. I only load 12 Hesh rounds in that as well. People make it sound like you just, you don't even aim your gun, uh, but if you want to get the high damage out, you want to definitely want to make sure you aimed your, aim your gun. It's a little easier in this than the Death Star. <clears throat> so I shoot right underneath the Panzer 7's turret, um, get another 1700 damage out. I start off the bat, first two shells, 2400 damage. or 3,400 damage on mass skills. All right, so the Panzer 7 has 751, and I feel like if I just get a decent shot here, I probably can pen it, or I can take him off the map. And I shoot right below his turret again uh, in the cheek, but it doesn't hit square. It kind of goes to the right and hits the side of his tank, and he's got that angled, so I don't kill him. I mean, you definitely can still roll a non-pen round up to 700 on the side of a Panzer 7. So they won the south, they're starting to push the two line. And I don't want to pit, poke out and take this Panzer 7 shell. Their Artie's dead, so I'm not too worried about that. And then we sent tanks down the nine line onto their base, but they're defending that. So we don't really have a good defense on our base, um, but they have a good one on their base. I can see there's a Leopard on the corner, so now I decide I'll trade one with this Panzer 7 if I can get a shot into the back of this Leopard. He's moving in and out of that rock, so it's kind of a tough shot, and I don't time it correctly, so I miss my shot. But the good thing was Panzer 7 wasn't looking at me. Our Conqueror takes the Panzer 7. I'm sorry, Schritzvong took the Panzer 7. Conqueror killed the Patton on the base. And now that leopard's not behind the rock anymore, so I get a full shot right into the back of him. And leopard has no armor, so that's a full pen 1480. First kill of the game. <clears throat> Racking up some damage. Alright, so it's 10 9s, close match. Our Conqueror's still kicking over on the base, he's doing a good job. Drewski just had his. Uh, shoulder plate sticking out so that Foch can pen him. He didn't realize that the shoulder plate was sticking out obviously otherwise he wouldn't have been sitting there. <coughs> Alright so I figure there's gonna be a Foch in a 704 right here. Fortunately the Foch is not there so I carefully aim my shot after he fluffs his shot get it right in the lower plate full pen take that 704 off the map. He's got three guys left and we have four 
And Drewski tells me that this Foch is just going up to kill the super or the conqueror, to clip the conqueror and kill him. So I just need to hurry up and get in behind him. He is platooned up with the 704, so the 704 is probably in his, his ear letting him know that he's got a shit barn coming. And he doesn't know that there's a Stritzfang above him. I mean, he might know now, but he didn't know that right away, so. Thought I'd have a shot here and I was going to start aiming. That hesitation kind of costed me. Um, now he got further away from me. I could just see the top of his tank, but on the move, I'm not going to take that shot. So, I just let them three fight the Foch, and there's still a mouse and a 13105. Not sure much health they have, um, but I'm pretty excited. If they if they are full health, um, I can maybe set my my own personal damage record. And there's the scout. So the scout's in the north, and I start to think, you know, he doesn't really have an exit strategy besides the two line. Um, if he goes anywhere else but that, he's going to have struggle and have a hard time. Um, he also kills our conqueror. So <clears throat> now you can see on the map he's doing exactly what I figured he would do. Um, so I'm going to work my way back. And he has a thousand damage, which is perfect. I mean, 1400 would have been better, but I'm gonna slowly aim my shot here. He hit a bump. I don't know that that costed me my shot. I think it just, it just missed. I went over him, so, I mean, this isn't the most accurate gun, and it shouldn't be. So I'm going to pursue him. I'm, I was hoping maybe he would stop behind the rocks and clip, but he's a smart player, so he's going to take off. And a lot of the times what I'll do in my 105 is I'll keep continue to drive, um, especially like until I'm unlit off the map, and then I will turn around with a full clip and try to set up in a position where I can ambush them. So I'm hoping that he's going to do that. And I got to see the mouse, and the mouse I think is full health. No, he's not full health. He's got 1,700 hit points, but nonetheless, 1,700 hit points is 1,700 hit points. That is delicious. I'm really thinking record at this point. Um, I mean, win first, record second. I really don't want to set my own personal record in a loss. That'd be, that'd be cool, but disappointing. So my record's in the Leopard. I have that on my channel, so you could go back through and watch my Leopard Ace, I think is what it's called. Um, and then a platoon mate that I play with, Cup, um, I featured him in a Centurion 7-1 video and he beat my record in that tank so <clears throat> so I get a shot I aimed at the mouse's cheek hoping that I could pen but I I don't know if this thing can roll high enough to pen a mouse cheek maybe flat with a high roll of penetration but I'm not sure <clears throat> so the mouse takes a couple shells no longer the damage that I wanted but the mouse kills our 1-4 and that's going to allow me the time to reload, get on his side, and shoot. I honestly prefer this tank over the Death Star. Um, the Death Star has more armor, less mobility. It's just awkward trying to get that thing in and out of corners, because that's usually where it uh, thrives, is working corners. And this thing has just got mobility. Um, yes, it's gigantic. It's hard to hide, um, but... If you wait for everybody to shoot and you stay somewhat hidden, you can surprise people. You pop out and then just clobber them for 1,500 damage. So me and Drew contemplated what we should do now, like maybe go on the base, make him come to us. But I feel like he could just get into like C0 and outspot us there and then shoot down into the cap. Um, so I didn't really want to do that. And I also didn't want to venture off to myself 
or by myself. So that's why I'm kind of staying by the mountain, but I see that the Stritzvong's behind me. So that's nice. It's gonna make his life tough trying to weave in and out of both of us as long as we stick together. The worst thing that we could do is go venture off by ourselves in the middle of a field. And then he spots my Stritzvong, so I'm trying to hurry up and turn around here. Gets a shot into the Stritzvong. Stritzvong's turn, trying to turn around and gets his second shot in. And then he spots me and he just takes off. He doesn't even really worry about his third shell. So as I crest this hill, I can see him. And I don't even really get time to aim, but I didn't want him to get away. Plus I had two more shells after that, so it was worth throwing a shell. And I take him down, take that 1,000 damage, 4 kills, 8 pens. So just a sexy game in the 4005. <clears throat> Coming down to the wire. I mean, that 13105 definitely could have taken us down. So, <clears throat> ace tanker, my first ace tanker in this. 8,600 damage. I think I'm averaging around like 4K damage in this thing, which is my highest of any tank. Um, I did take second, which is kind of funny. Um, but the Conqueror that was holding the base did 5,000 damage, 3 kills, and he was fighting tier 10. So um, props to that guy. We probably would have got capped out if he wasn't there. I'll take second with 8,668. 8, Does not beat my record. Um, however, it was still a sick game to watch. Their 105 did 6K, 2 kills. Their mouse did 3,700. 3 kills. Their 704 did 4K. I mean, they got some heavy hitters. Um, but they don't have a guy who did 8,600 damage. Alright, that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.